Hi everyone, in this quick tutorial we'll take a look at um, one of the options uh, using which you can connect from your Windows based desktop to a Linux server. There are a couple of uh, different ways that uh, this could be achieved. Uh, in, in this particular tutorial we'll take a look at how you can uh, use a tool like PuTTY to connect from your Windows based desktop to a Linux server uh, over SSH or Secure Shell. So the steps involved um, in today's tutorial would be to one, uh, let's look at how you can um, acquire the tool PuTTY and then we'll take a look at um, how you can connect to the Linux environment uh, using PuTTY and um, access um, it over the SSH protocol. So first things first, <coughs> so uh, how do you get the tool? So um, just uh, if you can do a quick uh, Google search for PuTTY. So that's P U T T Y. Yeah. And uh, pretty much that uh, should be the first link here. Uh, very simple tool. Um, there are quite a few options uh, around PuTTY, but I guess uh, to keep things really simple, uh, you can just download this uh, exe file and, um, you know, uh, get started with that. Once you do download the tool, um, you have. Um, uh, the simple application opened. Uh, there are several other advanced options here uh, today. Let's keep things really simple. Uh, so uh, the thing what we will need is um, is the uh, URI, um, either the server name or the IP address of uh, the Linux server that you're trying to connect to. Um, so in my case, uh, it's this particular IP here. And um, you'll notice the default uh, for PuTTY is to use SSH and uh, using the default SSH port of 22. Uh, it should work in most cases, however, it depends on um, the specifics of your server and environment. Uh, for example, if you're using a cloud-based service such as uh, Microsoft Azure, um, they might use a different public uh, port number and, uh, you know, the uh, the private port number is still going to be 22, but the public port number might be something different. So uh, you want to check your hosting service first uh, to know what port number. All right, so uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, now, if you click on open, um, you'll notice that um, you know um, it it does give you a prompt, and this happens only uh, the very first time that you try to connect to uh, uh, a Linux server or Windows. Um, once you click on yes, um, you know, it never prompts you again. All right, so now uh, this is business as usual. So now if you want to log into your Linux server, so uh, using whatever credentials. All right, so that's pretty much it. So uh, we are here. As you can see, we've uh, got, um, uh, you know, uh, access to a Linux server. And um, using a simple tool like PuTTY, we could uh, access the server remotely. Now, of course, this assumes that uh, on the server you have um, uh, the SSH service running. Uh, most cloud hosting, VPS hosting companies, they do provide uh, images which already have SSH pre-configured, but if you are running your own server uh, or custom build um, servers, then you probably will need to check if SSH is running. So that's about it for this tutorial. I look forward to seeing you folks again on the next one. Cheers, bye.